is Mystical Child here. Today we're going to do a pick a card, and the pick a card is going to be who's stirring the pot behind the scenes and whatever situation you have going. So, Power 1 is going to be the Gilded Tarot, Power 2, Tarot of Dreams, Power 3, the Light Sears. So, I want you to pick your pal, and I'll be right back. Pal one, you're up. Again, the topic is who is stirring the pot behind the scenes and whatever situation you have going. I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing, for the new people who has come in to view my content. If you find it useful, I'd appreciate it if you could like the video. I really appreciate it if you can subscribe. We close to 100. Subscribers, when I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to have a contest. So, Power One, who is stirring the pot behind the scenes with whatever situation you have? Okay. Gatekeepers for Power One, who's stirring the pot behind the scenes? Who's stirring the pot behind the scenes? Wow, that just shot out. Okay, so... Wow, that's a lot of cards. I didn't know all these cards jumped out. So... Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. Why well, I said Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups, sorry. You can see, hope the glare is not too bad. The Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It's normally um, Taurus energy because you see the Taurus there. It's a person with a fire sign with a lot of Taurus or Taurus with a lot of fire. And a Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you see smoke, that's my sage billowing. And I do smoke in my videos. So you may see me smoking. So who's stirring the pot? Behind the scenes. I don't know so far. It looks like... The Page of Cups is basically, if you yeah, the Page of Cups is looking towards the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is looking at the Page of Cups. Now, a Page of Cups is normally someone young or someone that's immature emotionally. And it seems like they have their cup, like they want to come bring the cup over here to the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is looking at the Page of Cups. Remember, energy can be males or females. Energy is interchangeable. Okay, so just remember that. And everything is not going to, like, be identical to you because there's going to be many people watching it, and it's a general. I'm going to get as much information I could get out, but remember, it's a general. And put the energy where it needs to be. Who is this Page of Cups, and why are they here? Who is this Page of Cups, the power one, and why are they here? It's the Magician. Magician, I say it's Gemini, Aries. I mean, energy. People like to say it's Aries energy. So, as we can see, it's the Page of Cups stirring the pot behind the scenes so far. Because he's the magician. And the magician is always trying to manifest things. So, we're going to see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Power 1? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here with Power 1? Why the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? The Seven of Pentacles, well, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning to a relationship. It could be a business. Something that has to deal with money, you know, foundation. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's not being patient. They're not patiently waiting. For whatever this is that's going on. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for Power One? Because of the moon. There's a lot of hidden secrets. 
Why is the King of Wands here for Power One? In regards to who's stirring the pile, the pot behind the scenes. Why is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands is somebody who's very fiery too. They're very passionate. This person seems like they mature, even though they're very fiery and passionate and like to have sex. King of Wands like to have sex. They're creative too. Very creative. Why is this King of Wands here for Pal 1 in regards to who's stirring the pot? Wow, behind the scenes. A lot of cards. This, this is a lot of cards want to pop out. But they're not. The Fool in Reverse and the King of Pentacles in Reverse. Well, for starters, this King of Pentacles is grounded in his fiery energy, his creative energy. But if the King of Pentacles is in reverse Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, this person is not mature. They're not grounded. They're not a good business partner or they're not a good romantic partner. And the Fool is here in reverse. Why is the Fool here in reverse? Because of the Queen of Pentacles. So now you have the Queen of Pentacles. That popped over here. So I'm going to leave it over here. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So we have a pair on the board already. Why is. The Queen of Pentacles. Is. Moving on. Trying to move the Karma Waters. Libra. Aquarius. Gemini. They're trying to move the Karma Waters. And I guess the Six of Swords. Is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, someone that's grounded. She's very, she's like a philanthropist. She likes to give money. She's not just going to dole out her money and just give it away, but she's a philanthropist. She's mature. She's grounded. She's grounded in her material. She's grounded in her, um, she's just grounded. Let's say that. She's grounded in her material wealth. She's grounded in her, um, her house structure. Like her, her, her house is good. Her money is good. You know, she's a good financial person. He or she. What is this moon hiding for power one in regards to who's stirring a pot behind the scenes? What is this moon hiding? The high priestess. The high priestess is all knowing. She says everything. I mean, what I'm talking about. Sorry for me talking over myself. It's very early in the morning and I'm quite tired. The queen the queen the high priestess sorry the high priestess is of pisces energy and she knows everything she says nothing funny enough though the king of pentacles is here and the queen of pentacles is here which is a pair right so we have the magician right the magician's wife is the high priestess so we have two pairs on this board now when the high priestess come out power one this is a bunch of confusion to me, it seems like. But you guys are supposed to know what's going on. Because, again, the high priestess know everything. She says nothing. She's also a, um, a, like a scientist in her own right. You see how the magician is like he manipulates energy? She as well manipulates energy. So it's a Pisces energy. And on this board, I can tell you right now, it's nothing but earth and water and a little bit of air. So the opposite energy of earth is water. So I am very inclined, to, I'm inclined to say that power one, you guys have strong earth or water in your chart. I don't know what's going on here. Normally I could figure out what's going on, but I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Why is the fool in reverse for power one? I'd appreciate if you um, identify with this that you can leave a comment to let me know what's going on here because I really don't know. But you guys are supposed to know. The Fool is in reverse because of the Ten of Wands. A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Someone that has a lot on their back. A lot of um, burdens. A lot of, like, what would I say? A lot of irons in the fire. There's a lot on his plate. And you have the four of pentacles here. Again, an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. 
this person looks like they are holding back. It could be a very petty person. It could be a person that likes to hoard money and don't want to share the money. So this person who's holding back and is burdened, I don't know why. Why is this person burdened for power one? Why is this ten of wands here? Why? What's this burdens about in regards to whoever's stirring apart in the background? Why the burdens are here? Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's studying something. Somebody, somebody's studying or researching. And here's the Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Are they studying, looking at a third party? Whether it's coming together as partying, coming together as like having... Um, this card, it looks like they're partying. But it could be partying. It could be coming together for a project. But somebody's studying this. They're looking at it and they're studying. Whether they're studying on the internet, they're watching this on the internet, I don't know. Why is there four of pentacles here in regards to power one and who's stirring, stirring the pot behind the scenes? Why is this four of The Four of Pentacles is here because the Five of Cups. Somebody's depressed. Two cups have spilled. There are three cups behind this person, but they're not looking at it. They focus on his two cups right here. And this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. So they're burdened because they're watching a person having fun, partying on the, inter on the internet or... They're watching them say, some way, somehow. What is the moon hiding for power one? What is this moon hiding? The star. Someone healing, somebody trying to balance themselves. What is this magician here for? In regards to power one and, and full star of justice. Justice is Libra, a Libra card. Libra is bringing balance to a situation. The magician is trying to manifest balance, it looks like. What is the magician trying to manifest balance for? What is trying to, it's a tower. A tower in reverse, actually. You see how it fell out? It's in reverse. The tower's in reverse. So the magician is trying to manifest justice in a situation that is not closing. Someone's trying to run, a, trying to duck up a, um, a tower. Somebody's um, trying to prevent change from happening. Why is this Five of Cups here? What is this Five of Cups here for in regards to Power One? Four of Wands. Is it? It looks like the Five of Cups is upset about a home structure, stability, a family, something going on in the family. Why well, is the Four of Wands here in regards to Power One? And who's stirring the pot in the background? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Judgment. Basically, judgment came out twice. Justice and judgment. The horns is being blown. The universe is blowing um, um, the horns. And then the tower's here in reverse. I'm going to put the tower upright. Because it needs to be upright. Once judgment is here, the tower's here. Justice here. The universe is blowing um, the horns on this. And when the horns are being blown and there's a tower of justice here, this, if it's not going on now, this is soon to happen. And you guys, again, I hope you could tell me what's going on because the high priestess is here. And you guys know what's going on, even though it seemed like a bunch of confusion to me. Who is stirring a pot? This page of cups, I could say that. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Because the op opposite um, energy of a water sign is a Tor um, earth sign. 
and it seems like it's in regards to a foundation, a family foundation, stability, What? because it seems like it's a family there. Why is this King of Wands looking at the Page of Cups? What's going on with the Page of Cups and the King of Wands? One last card. Then I'm going to end this. The King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The, the Page of Wands in reverse and the Chariot in reverse. Somebody is not taking control of this situation. The Page of Wands in reverse, again, is a Leo, sorry, a Leo Aries, can you see it, or Sagittarius. Somebody's not taking control of the situation. Somebody wants to come in upright. This is a person wanting to start a, um, a venture, a very creative venture, a passionate venture, but it's in reverse. Somebody needs to take control of this situation. What is this Three of Cups about? What's the Three of Cups about? The Hangman and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's not balanced. Somebody is not balanced with this Three of Cups. And somebody's just hanging. This is a Pisces card. Hangman. And the Two of Pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. But it's in reverse. Normally, this is juggling, balancing two acts. This is not being balanced. I'm going to end it here, you guys. Because I have two other piles to go to. And I always get pile one extra time. Don't tell nobody. The timestamp is going to be inside the message box. Again, if anybody is like identifying with this, can you please let me know what's going on here? Because I don't know what's going on here. Besides, somebody is stalking or researching because there's a th third party here. They're watching this on the internet, it looks like. This has something to do with stability and somebody, a family. Somebody's holding back because they're burdened. But they don't want to take, they don't want to be a fool because it's in reverse. They don't want to be a fool and take a chance on this. The Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody's not uh, balanced. The Chariot is in reverse. Somebody's not taking control of this. There's children involved or immature people involved. The Hangman is here. Whoever this Pisces energy is, they just hanging and trying to look at this at another in another way. I forgot that. Oh, look. The Five of Swords just popped out. It wanted to pop out. And on the bottom of the deck... You have the five of wands. There's a lot of competition going on. It could be a legal activity, competition. Somebody like to um, get away with things, go too far and do things and try to win in ways they shouldn't win. I forgot to bring this up. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Somebody that's not moving nowhere fast. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slow. They're very consistent when they move, but they move extremely slow. And they looking opposite of this. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in regards to power one? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Then I'm really going to end this after this. I have to end this. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles here is because the Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So someone who's like grounded and not moving, but this is a person who you would say is bougie. They good with bunny. They happy. You see she over here playing with her little opulent bird. The butterflies here. Normally transitions is happening. Person that's not in pinnacles are open to transition. They good with money. They good with growth. So this person is. This is a person that's not doing anything. This, or this knight of pinnacles who's not moving and stagnant is looking back at this nine of pentacles is another way of looking at it this night because the night is immature is looking at this grown woman you know and her just in her bliss she look good she smell good her money good she's grounded she's good if this resonates with you guys power one please like and comment if you haven't subscribed i'd appreciate if you subscribe please leave me a message i don't really ask nobody to leave me messages 
please leave me messages and let me know what's going on here. If you have the guts, not like you're scared or anything, but a lot of people don't like to leave messages. But I really would like to know what's going on. Take care. Until next time. How to you're up. So who's in the background stirring the pot, pot, the pot in your situation? This is what this reading is about. Look at the timestamp in the message box. So who is stirring the pot for you guys in whatever situation you're going through? For pal two gatekeepers, who's stirring the pot? In their situation for power two. Okay, keep us. Who's stirring the pot? Seven of coins in reverse. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Someone that's not being patient. Someone that's... So far, someone's not being patient. You have the three of wands. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Somebody is, is in reverse too. And then the... Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios in reverse. So who's stirring the pot around here? Um, why is the Three of Cups in reverse for Pal 2, Gatekeepers, in regards to who's stirring the pot in the background? Three of Cups is somebody not coming together. This is normally upright. Is somebody come together for partying, ventures, like collaborating with business deals and stuff like that? They're not coming together. The King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in the reverse is so upright. He's someone passionate, creative, very adventurous. In reverse, <laughs> in reverse, he's very toxic. In reverse, he likes to, in upright, he likes to have passionate sex. But in reverse, this person will have sex with anybody. There's Three of Cups in reverse, and the King of Wands came out. So. This person is oh, seven of coins, seven of um, pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles in reverse for pal two? Why is the seven of pentacles in reverse? Who's not taking their time? This is someone who who doesn't take their time when it comes to um, relationships and stuff. They like to have run in quick and have sex quick, or um um they don't think they wait through things. They will start things quickly and it it doesn't go right. So. Why is the seven of coins in reverse? A person who's not patient and waiting, you know, because a person upright, seven of coins upright is someone that's patient, waiting. They're not rushing. So because of the star, the star is someone healing, a healing energy, a Aquarius energy, a, a visionary. And the seven of swords is in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse for Pal 2 in regards to who's stirring the pot? Why is this? This King of Wands is stirring the pot, if y'all want to know. This King of Wands in your life is stirring the pot. Why are these cards coming out in reverse? This, this deck is not in reverse. All these cards is basically coming in reverse. You have the, um, you have the Four of Wands. Leo. Um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, but it's in reverse. Four cups of four of wands upright is a grounded structure. Stability. There is no stability. Stability here. And the communication. This person is trapped in a head. Eight of Swords, Aries, Gemini, Libra. This someone who's trapped in a head. Who has depression and PTSD. They have post-traumatic stress. And they need to heal these things. They need to heal. Their depression and you know all of the, the stress that they under. They trapped in their head. And they need to heal their foundation. They need to heal. Their foundation money. Money and 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 and, and wands, four wands. That's foundation. Why is this three of wands in reverse? The three of wands in reverse is they're not their ships not coming in. So you have this ten of swords in reverse. What is going on? 
Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Because the Ten of Wands in reverse. Let's see here. All these cards just want to be in reverse. It's, this is very confusing. The, this came out with the Five of Cups as well in reverse. Okay. The Five of Cups in reverse is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Five of Cups is someone... They said it's a Scorpio energy. You see the Scorpio here? This person is in a lack mindset. This person is not... I'm trying to get the words out, but it's, they're not coming out. This person is depressed. They're in a lack mindset. They're not thinking their way through. they just in their emotions. The Ten of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone that's burdened. This is, this is, I'm not. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? For Pal 2. Why is the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords in reverse? For Pal 2, Gatekeepers. Why are these cards in reverse for Pal 2, Gatekeepers? What is going on with this energy? Because the Knight of Wands. Because a lot of impulsive, impulsive energy, a lot of impulsive, hot, running in hot, not really grounding yourself. And that's who's stirring the pot. This king of wands in reverse, someone that's not balanced, someone that's very toxic and, oh my gosh, this energy is a bit much. What is this knight of wands up to for pal two? Six of Wands in reverse. This person had an ego death. That's what this person is flying and racing and hot. They had an ego death. And they need to heal themselves. They need to really heal themselves. Balance themselves. Because if you see every card on this board is in reverse, you guys. I, I'm sure you can see it. Every card besides this knight. A wants that comes in impulsively and likes to have sex and just come in fast and hot and don't stay. I like to say they pollinate a lot of trees and a star upright. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, and um, um, Aries, if I didn't say that. That's what's going on. This impulsive sexual, sexual energy is the one that's stirring the pot in the background. The one that's trapped in their head. The one that is very impatient. They don't want to wait for anything. They don't want to ground themselves. They don't want to wait for anything. They don't want to have a, a stable foundation. They don't want to do that. They want to have toxic third parties. And third parties upright is toxic. Can you imagine them in reverse? This is like people who deal with like, I'm not saying nothing wrong with like, you know, people who work for money. But people who strip and stuff like that. That's that type of energy. The deck is closed as well. Let me see something. I want to. I'm gonna get. Um, this is the love oracle cards. Let's see if I could get anything. What what messages could Pal Two get behind all these cards being in reverse? What messages they need to hear? Not enough came out. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self sabotage. Fear. Ego issues and jealousy. Exactly what I just said. A mask. Not showing true feelings. Hide. Perso personify, pretend, delude, gaslight. Just like I said. On the bottom, it says self-indulgent. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. That's what we have here. Let's see if I can get you one more. Passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. Exactly what I explained. Look. Exactly what I explained. Right here. The Knight of, I mean, the King of Wands in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Knight of, Knight of Wands upright. That's what this expressed. Insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. A lot of passion. A lot of self-indulgence. Because Seven of Coins is not waiting for nobody. That's self-indulgence. Three of Wands, they're not waiting for their ships to come in. So I hope this guys help you, um... 
if you feel drawn to going to any other piles, I suggest you go to other piles to get um, information because you would get information out of it. But just to answer your question, it's this king of um, wands in reverse. That's delving in all this ungrounded, impulsive sex and third parties and crazy. If, if you have gotten anything out of this, I appreciate if you can like the video. If you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate if you subscribe. Until next time, thank you. Pow 3, who is stirring a pot in your situation, whatever situation you're in? Two of Wands, someone who's not fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone who's juggling. Who is stirring the pot? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone that's not grounded. Who's stirring the pot in Pal 3's situation in the background? Who's stirring the pot? And why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse would do anything for money. It's normally a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They would do anything for money. And they're juggling. And they're in their head. Somebody who can't make sense of what's going on. Or they don't want to listen or look up to see what's going on. And the star. If you call to go into any other pals, I suggest you go to them. Because you will get information out of them. Because these cards are coming out. So you have the star. Someone that's supposed to be healing themselves. Balancing themselves. A visionary. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Because of the devil. The devil's here. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse because of they juggling. What is this? Um, undecided. Juggling, undecided. What is this Queen? Um, what is this devil here for? In regards to Pal 3 who's stirring the pot in the background. What is this Pal 3 here for? It's the, um, what is this devil here for, for Pile 3, in regards to who's juggling? Three of Pentacles. There's more than one person here in this situation. Why is this Three of Pentacles here with the devil for Pile 3, in regards to who's stirring a pot in the background? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Eight of Swords, somebody in their head, again. Aries, I mean, sorry, is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Someone's in their head. Somebody needs to be a fool in this situation and jump out and come out their head. What is the Five of Swords here in regards to Pile 3? And who's stirring the pot in the background of their situation? Why is the Five of Swords?